Python warning. They say dogs are man's best friend. Django, anybody that got to meet Django, um, he touched their hearts. This dog, however, was the city's best friend. When we saw Django, couldn't really tell what kind of dog he was initially. He kind of had this crazy look in his eye. He was unlike all the rest of the dogs from the pool that we had. Picked one guy out that was wearing a full bite suit and he just stared at him and just started drooling. And I was like, this dog's either crazy or uh, he's gonna be pretty awesome. The nine-year-old canine officer spent most of his life with Midland Police Department, serving faithfully up until his final day. Uh, Django was uh, diagnosed with uh, cancer. When we got the news, I mean, this was sudden. This was six days ago that we had j discovered the, uh, that he had been, you know, sick with cancer and that this was inoperable. You know, just by seeing the look on the vet's face, like, this is not good. Um, that's hard. I can't remember the last time we've had a uh, canine working for our department that has succumbed to something like this. As his handler, and I'm speaking for me and uh, Sergeant Welch as well on this one, uh, Django was probably one of the best canines, uh, in my opinion, in the history of this department since this program started in the late 70s to early 80s. Django was a very well-rounded dog. Uh, he did, he, he was 100% on everything he did, whether it be tracking, uh, finding people, finding things, articles. He liked to do anything and everything, um, which is rare. The, the best quality of Django was the fact that he could do it all, he loved to do it all, and uh, he gave 110% everything he did. And even as Django battled for his life, he gave 110%. Even up to his last moments, uh, that dog was still showing love and support for me, even though I was emotionally and, you know, getting ready to mourn for him. And he could tell something was wrong. Um, but, um, you know, with him hurting uh, as much as he was and as much pain as he was in, um, still there for me. And I'm not the one dying. So that was, um, that's a hero. Like, that's something I, I, I look up to. And I think a lot of people need to have those qualities in them. Django lived an incredible life. Not just for a dog, but for anyone. He caught nearly 30 dangerous suspects, saved hundreds of lives, and did all that with a smile on his adorable face. Safe to say, he was more than just man's best friend. A lot of people think, you know, like man's best friend. Uh, that's kind of uh, a mundane statement, I think. And I think a lot of the other canine handlers all over can relate to that. Uh, you know, we're in those cars with those dogs, working with those dogs 40 plus hours a week. You know, blood, sweat, and tears go into that, and, and that goes both ways. Uh, and then you have to go home, take your vest off, take the collar off, and adjust to family life. Uh, that's tough on those dogs, it's tough on us. Uh, you're spending more time with those animals than our own families. Uh, so when you lose one, it's hard. You know, I've had pets growing up, yeah, I've shed tears over them, but, but I am very thankful for the time that I've had with him. I'm blessed to have such a great uh, partner over the years. It's safe to say Django wasn't just a good boy, even a great boy. Django was an incredible boy and will be remembered far beyond his years walking the streets of Midland and telling his enemies to sit and lie down. Those out there who knew him on a personal level, um, they're mourning. It's a, it's a big loss. And uh, for a dog to have that type of impact on people, uh, that says a lot for his character.